this uh, 2014 Chevy Impala uh, to program the uh, transmission replacement. Nowadays, so, most people think that using a scanner like this is sufficient enough using the fast learner procedure, which it is not. Because nowadays, with the, how sophisticated these TCMs and ECUs net are, you have to use a laptop and you have to have the AC Delco Tech Line Connect system, okay. which we are going to walk you through in this procedure. While programming too, we also want to make sure we get full charge on the battery. And you're also going to want to have a jump pack like this that displays without the color on, proper voltage. You want over 12 volts on it at all times. You do not turn this, this jump pack on until you're commanded to when the car is pulled in. And this is what hooks you up to the AC Delco Tech Line Connect. And after you need this, and this it's worth the money, and it's worth the time because you want a happy customer, not a dissatisfied customer. Mm -hmm. okay, and this is what we are going to need. We are going to need a laptop. And now it's pulling up the screen. As you see, it says AC Delco. All right, and we're going to log in. This is where you'll go. This will tell you how many slots you have available for your VIN when you pay the initial startup. Now we're going to add it in. Now it'll go to the tech line. Launch. Hook this up to your OD2. Okay. And we'll take this cord. Put it in here, like so. That hooks you up to the car. There we go, it's starting to renew. There we go. Now we're going in, now we connect to the vehicle. Okay. There we go, we're connecting. It will pull up the car, and then you go to the SP2. Go to there, it's loading service program. And you'll go to any program systems. You'll have either program or replace and reprogram. Well, you will go down to replace and reprogram. All right. Okay, then you'll hit next. All right. And you go to the features here, and what are we programming? The TCM. Click on to that. Go to next. And this will come up, and yes, this is not entered in, so it's a new car, a new VIN. Hit proceed. Okay, and we hit next. Start programming. There we go, you'll have a blue bar that'll come up, and this is the line that will actually be programming the system. Okay. And at this point in time, you want to leave the laptop alone. Mm -hmm. Go to the jump box. Turn it on so it keeps you above 12 volts. Right. Never start the car while it's in programming procedure. Okay. And now you just let it do what it has to do. How long normally does that take? 29 to 30 minute plus procedure. But in actuality, with how fast it goes, sometimes it's even less time that it takes. Okay. But you just let the blue bar go all the way. And then at the end of it, we have another feature we'll show you that clears all the codes by using this. Perfect. Here is the procedure right now. We're at the end of it. And you'll go right to here. And this will automatically clear any codes that are in the car. Is this also reset shift adapts? That was all automatically set once you programmed it. So, and now then, that's all done. And we go right up to here. This is the proper way to shut it down for you. Go like that, it will cancel. And it will now shut down. Because if you don't do the proper procedure, you can corrupt the system. It shut down, and you're all done. And that's it, that completes that's the it. programming. That completes the programming. Excellent.